Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Because you know what we like to do, sister? We like to go all up and down the street, parade, 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 and fest and fest and fest. That's all we want to do. We want to we want to live in festivities. But guess what? The reality is that our sons getting shot down in the streets. The reality is that our daughters getting uh, kidnapped. The reality is that Christian the Christian church is not finna save us. That's the reality. Read what you got for me? The Book of Psalms, chapter forty, verse eight. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. My brothers, my young princes, my brothers, the will of God is the laws of God. You know that? We have to come back to the laws of God. That's the only thing that's going to change the black community. That's the only thing that's going to build up the black and Hispanic community. You understand me? Voting does little to anything to change the black community. You want to say what's going to change our community? What's going to change our community is keeping God's commandments. Keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Give me the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. How you doing, lovely sister? I want you to understand that what we out here teaching, we are out here teaching, blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites, and we must keep God's law, statutes, and commandments to enter to the kingdom of heaven. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent. Ye therefore, and be converted. God commands us to repent and be converted. To repent and be converted. Do y'all know what it means to repent? My little sisters, do y'all know what it means to repent according to the Bible? Because this is what the Bible says, read. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. Each and every one of y'all are commanded to repent and be converted back to the laws of your God. That's right. Because God gave us laws. He said, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. You repenting as you stop sinning and you coming back to these laws. That's right. You understand me? Read. That your sins may be blotted out. See that? That your sins may be blotted out. Give me the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2. I want verse 9. Let's start there. Yeah. We're going to read all down. I'm going to show you a sin that we love to do with our baby girls. Because as men and as fathers, you're supposed to be protectors of our community. You don't let your daughter walk around and parade herself half naked. Right. Why? Because there's pedophiles out here. Bring it out. There's rapists out here. That's right. Read what you got. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. I need y'all to listen very closely. Read. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. See that this law of God is going to protect you women from any harm. God said that women shall adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel is clothes that's not showing your body shape. That's right. Not showing your thighs. Bring it up. Not showing your breasts. Right. Not showing anything that belongs to your husband. Right. Because one day, you young ladies will get married. And that's why God said this. Read that again. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Bring it up. God said that women got to adorn themselves in modest apparel. And it started with the older sisters. You older ladies, y'all got to teach the younger ladies That's how to dress, how to walk, how to talk, how to conduct themselves in society. Bring it out! You understand me? What men to avoid? Because every man out here is not a good man. Just like every woman out here is not a good woman. So this is what the Bible says. Read that again for them. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel so when you leave the house the clothes that you put on gotta be modest you can't be showing your body out here because you're going to incite the wrong type of man towards you read on Get out. with shame faceless and sobriety read that part again stay with me with shame faceless and sobriety See that? women are supposed to be shame faced and sober sober don't worry about trying to act up don't worry about trying to get drunk have a hot girl summer. No, 
And women are supposed to be sober with shame face. Now we're going to switch topics. Now we're going to deal with salvation. We're going to find out is voting for anybody in any district of any city going to save us? Give me Luke chapter 1. I want verse 68. We're going to start on down. Luke chapter 1 verse 68 on down. Come on. Read what you got for me. The book of Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Bring it out. Bless be the Lord God of Israel. First thing, y'all got to acknowledge that y'all are not blacks or Spanish. You are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Yes. Yes. God said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. See that? The Lord God of Israel shall redeem us as a people, not voting for anybody in any district of any city. Not voting for Democrats, not voting for Republicans. What's going to save us? is the Lord God of Israel. That's right. Because you have to understand that the condition that we are in is a spiritual condition. God allowed this to happen because we broke his law, statutes, and commandments as a people, as a whole. So the only way to come out this condition is to keep his law, statutes, and commandments as a people, as a whole. It's just that simple, it's just that plain. What divided us up into different political institutions, different religious right. institutions, is our enslavement here in America. Bring it out. You understand me? All we're doing is continue to play on, playing the same sports game, playing the same political game. That's not going to save us. This is what's going to save us. Read it again and then read on down from there. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. See that God promised that he's going to visit and redeem his people. Do you know, y'all sisters, y'all are the Israelites the Bible speaks of? Bring it out! Brother, you know that according to the Bible, we are not blacks and Hispanics? We are better than what we've been thinking out here. That's right. A lot of us have low self-esteem. A lot of us don't believe in God because we say, you know, when we've been here for so long, God ain't finna save us. We gotta save ourselves. Bring it out. You are partially right. We do have to do have to do some type of action, but that action is only predicated if it's according to the Bible. That's right. You understand me? Read on. And has re raised up a horn of salvation. For us in the house of his servant David. Now David was a black man that ruled over the Israelites. That's right. He, King David was a black man that ruled over the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Which 12 tribes you are. If you are an American black, a so-called African American guy said you're from the tribe of Judah. That's right. If you are a West Indian black, you live in any island of Jamaica. Uh, give me some more islands. The uh, West Indies, the Bahamas, God's Trinidad, Tobago, God said you are from the tribe of Benjamin. Bring it out. If your daddy is from Haiti, you are from the tribe of Levi. If any of y'all are Mexican out here, God said you're from the tribe of Issachar. There's 12 tribes. We all were divided up during slavery. That's why we don't know who we are. We don't know where we're going. Bring we don't know what we're doing. Why? Because our, histor our history has been cut off 400 years ago. But the Lord God of your fathers promised that he would visit and redeem you. Yes. Read. As he has speak by the mouth of his holy prophets. Because that's what separates this book from any book here on the face of the earth. This book is the words of the prophets. That's right. All the prophets spoke and prophesied of your downfall. You think it's a coincidence that we hear in Chicago, Section 8, gang banging? No, four, no fathers in the household. Bring it out. Half, of us, half of us is drug addicts. You got your little sons down there selling Percocet, selling drugs, selling weed, hair on, dope in their pocket. Bring it out. Busting at one another. Bring it out. That's right. We should do the same thing. That's why we can speak so freely about it. Right. Because before we had the Bible in our hand, we was doing the same thing you was doing. Right. So we got every right to speak about it. Now read what you got. Which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies. God promised that we shall be saved from this condition. We're going to be saved from our enemies. Now when you ask the black man who is your enemy, a lot of y'all say uh, Pookie on the next block. Pookie on the next block. He, that's not your real enemy. The real enemy is the nations that conspired against you and put you in this condition when you read Psalms 83. The book of Psalms, the chapter Psalms 83, identifies who are the enemies of God and the black man. It's the same ones that put the drugs in your pocket. That's your enemy. 
Read. That we shall be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Because you have to understand that every single body hates us. Give me yeah, Zephaniah right. 2 and 1. Everybody hate us. So what do we got to do? We got to come together as a people. Bring it out. That's what we have to do. They keep playing the same game, the same political game. Be a Democrat or be a Republican. Bring it out, huh? Y'all that like the game, babe? Y'all join up different gangs, different fractions. But we all are the same nation. We all are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Come on. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. That's what we out. must do. Read. Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together, O oh nation, not desire. The black community needs solidarity. Right. We need unity. Bring it out. That's what's going to save us. Read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather yourself, O oh nation, not desire. You see that? We got to gather ourselves together. That's talking about unity. But how can we unify when our sons are selling drugs to our parents? How can we unify when the parents don't want to raise the children? That's right. How can we unify when brothers killing brothers? Bring it out! Brothers kidnapping sisters. That's right. Brothers working for the Polacks and the Eastern Europeans kidnapping our sisters for $300. Bring it out! For the orcas. Some of y'all kidnappers, some of y'all drug dealers, some of y'all are pedophiles. Bring it out! How can we gather ourselves together if our mind ain't right? Bring it out. That's why we come out here week after week to teach you so your mind can get right. That's right. Once your mind gets right, then we can effectively gather ourselves together. Bring it out. But until then, you're going to keep hearing our voice. That's right. Read, Read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Oh, nation, not desire. God commands us to gather ourselves together. That's right. The promise that we have in the community can be fixed when we gather ourselves together. Give me Lamentations chapter 4 and 1. First, you have to know who you are. I've already told you, according to the Bible, you African Americans, you are from the tribe of Judah. That's right. African American was a name placed on you during the mid-80s by Jesse Jackson. That was a political move. We is not African American. If you are a West Indian black, you are from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. You must identify who you are first. Then you can identify what you must do. Read what you got, Lamentations chapter four. The book of Lamentations chapter four, verse one. How has the gold become dim? How has the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. So now, the Bible says, how is the gold become dim? God compares you black men to gold. Gold is the most precious stone on this earth. That's right. I'm going to say it again. Gold is the most precious stone on this earth. Likewise, you so-called black men, y'all are the most precious people on this earth. That's because right. you are made in the image of God, That's a black right. man. Old, uh, Isaiah 13, but we don't understand that. Now read on. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 1. Read, read verse 2. Verse 2. The precious sons of Zion come comparable to find gold. Now read that part again. I want y'all to see what God calls y'all. Read. The precious sons of Zion comparable to find gold. Y'all out here game banging? God said you are the precious sons of Zion comparable to find gold. Comparable to find gold. But because you hate your God, you hate yourself, you sell drugs to a brother that looks just like you. Because you got self-hatred in your mind. You hate your image. You got the white man still in your mind 400 years later. That's why we walk around with low self-esteem, sagging our pants, selling Percocets to our people. Because we think nothing of one another. It ain't nothing for me to lay you down and slide on you. Because why? Because I hate myself. Your brothers hate yourself. Bring it out. And you have to first acknowledge that in order to change. Right. Read that again. The Book of Lamentations. And I'm going to tell you why we hate ourselves. We hate ourselves because we was taught to hate ourselves That's during right. slavery. Bring it out. Bring it out. You understand me? We have the same mindset we had during slavery. Right. That low self-esteem. You understand what I'm saying to you, Chief? Read. The Book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 2. Bring it out. The precious sons of Zion. God 
called y'all the precious sons of Zion. That's who you are, that's who you be. Read. Comparable to fine gold. Uh -huh. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? The work of the hands of the potter. Now, if anybody know anything about gold jewelry, gold can become dim, right? How do you purify gold? Huh? How do you purify gold? With fire. That's why we're here in America. America is our fire to purify us. That's because right. our minds ain't right. You understand me? That's why we're here. That's why we go through hard times. That's why we go through tribulation. I'm going to show you what that fire is talking about. Give me the book of Leviticus chapter 26. Hold that. Bring it out. Starting verse 17. Oh, and if y'all got any questions, feel free to come up. We're we not just out here just to be out here. We're out here to edify and teach our people. You understand me? Leviticus chapter 26, start at verse 17. The book of Leviticus chapter 26, start at 14. Verse 14. But if ye will not hearken unto me. That's the problem. Y'all don't want to listen to God. Because all we're doing is reading the words out the book yeah. verbatim. We ain't making up our own thing. Come on. They said if you don't want to hearken to the words of what? Unto me, uh, that's me is talking about God, read, and will not do all these commandments. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, uh -huh. so that ye will not do all my commandments. See that God gave us commandments, he didn't give us religion. Right. He didn't say be a uh, Christian, be a Pistopalia, be a Muslim, right. be a four-corner hustler, right. be a gangster disciple. Right. He didn't say be a gangster. Right. God didn't say be a five percenter. Right. God never said be a drug dealer. Right. God said keep my commandments and live. That's, That's, right. That's what he said. Bring it out. Read. But that ye break my covenant, I will also do this unto you. Uh -huh. I will even appoint over you terror. See that? We broke God's covenant. Because as his chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the American blacks, Benjamin, the West Indian blacks, Levi, the Haitian blacks, Issachar, you so-called Mexicans, you Mexicanos, Azteca is Issachar. That's who you are. And you know that. Right. You Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Ephraim. We ain't broken God's covenant. God said he will appoint over us terror. That's that right. terror is as we know today is America. Right. That's why the police shoot you down in the streets. Jesus. Because God said he will appoint over us terror, meaning terrorists. Hey. Do y'all know that the real people committing the most terrorist activities is out. white men? It's white men. Do you know that? Like for example, a couple weeks ago in El Paso, a white man walked into Walmart and did what? Killed a whole lot of guys, people. The so-called Mexicans. Bring it out. Why? Because read that again. I will also do this unto you. Uh -huh. Terror. Consumption. God said he will appoint unto us terror. What happened to El Paso was terrible. What happened to Trayvon Martin was terrible. Right. What happened out there in uh, Ferguson was terrible. What about up the street on Cicero, Laquan McDonald? What happened to that young man was terrible. The charge they give y'all brothers for selling drugs even though they give y'all the drugs, it's football numbers. It's super terrible. Three strikes and you out. Ain't nothing worse than that. You living but you dead. You dead in the prison cell. That's really terrible. Because God said he would do that to you because you broke his covenant. Right. Read. But that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror. That's the society. Terror. Consumption and consumption. Read. And the burning of you uh -huh. that shall consume thy eyes. Talking about diseases, afflictions, STDs. The highest report of HIV amongst us is who? The so-called Israelite, these people on this side, the 12 tribes of Israel. We always being consumed. Read. And call sorrow of heart. Ain't nobody more sad than us. We always crying. What that say? We always crying out here. God said He will call sorrow of heart. 
Do y'all know an hour ago somebody passed us a flyer of they missing family member? Ain't that right, baby? They said gave us a flyer of they missing family me family member. We always going through a uh, sorrow of heart. Read. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. All right, call that and read that, man. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it up. Go to them that sin. I got you. Yeah, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Be careful. Watch your step, all right? But I want y'all to hear the word of God while you can. Listen, all right? In the meantime, look at the signs. Huh? Take her hand. I shook her hand. I shook her hand. Listen. Come on. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 24. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments. The word woe means destruction. God is very serious about his commandments. God is very serious about his commandments. He said destruction to him that keepeth not my commandments. Read that again. Woe to him that sin and keep not my commandments. See that sin is not keeping God's commandments. So when you go to the pastor and say, what is sin? The answer is in the Bible, not keeping his commandments. Read. Saith the Lord, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. And that's why the Lord kicked us out of our homeland. Because we was defiling our sanctuary. Read. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Whoa, read that again. So why is our sons out here dying by gang violence? Why is our sisters and our babies missing? Because of sin. Everything goes down to sin. That's, right. That's why it's very important for you to read and learn the commandments so you can avoid sin. That's right. You understand me? It's up to every individual to do that. Yeah, and like the brother said, it's up to every individual to do it. Hey, I did it. I ain't trying to go out like that. That's right. I don't know about y'all, but this life ain't a life for me. I want that real life, yeah. that up. eternal life. You feel me? That's what I'm doing, what I'm doing. That's why I put the gun down, put the drugs down. Stop messing with these women out here. That's why I put the Bible up and started keeping the commandments. Read. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. Ain't not near one of y'all hiding from the Lord. He said he know all of them, each and every one of y'all that sin against him. He know y'all. Y'all, a lot of y'all like to say, oh, God know my heart. You damn right he know your heart. He know how wicked your heart is. That's right. Read. Now. And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. And he said, because you sin and you are unwilling to change, he's going to deliver you to death and destruction That's right. death and destruction look around look at our living conditions this is very destructive the black community we have become self-destructive meaning at first it was a nation that brought us right. off the shores of africa right. the portuguese the british the english the dutch the french the conquistadors they enslaved us and brought us here so-called white men in the arabs they brought us over here and destroyed us but now the system of destruction is self-operating. We are self-destructive now. Ain't nobody forcing you to bust that gun. Ain't nobody forcing you to sell drugs to your people. Ain't nobody forcing you to do what you do. You're doing it because your mind ain't right. Your mind is destroyed. Bring it out. Read. Verse, 20. Verse 22. My right hand shall not spare the sinners. And my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood. See that? When y'all sell drugs to your people, you shed innocent blood. You shed innocent blood. That's what y'all doing. Y'all brothers, y'all out here shedding innocent blood. A lot of y'all see y'all out, you shoot at him and miss him and shoot the baby up, man. You shed innocent blood. And that blood is on your head. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. 
purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth